<laughs> Sorry, what's your name? Victoria. Victoria, I'm Hashim. Uh, I see a little cross there. I'm assuming you believe in God. Okay, yeah, so with you, the discussion will be completely different. <laughs> uh, well, no, I want, I'm here. Your, your uh, one, topic, yeah. One of my best friends is, um, is from atheist? Afghanistan. No, she's oh, it's Islamic, atheist. Okay. so it's like we talk about this kind of stuff. So it's, I'm like, that's why I'm here. To yeah. you guys. So, so look, when, when we talk to the atheists, obviously we can't just straight away say God exists, believe in it, or else nothing else. So we need to talk from a philosophical point of view, from uh, existential questions. We have to ask them existential questions, okay. ask them where the universe came from, so things about the origin of things and so on. Okay. With you is very different, being a Christian, okay? Uh, Catholic, Protestant, I don't know. Why are you laughing? No, no, I'm not laughing. Okay, okay. He's just a uh, he, fun guy, happy guy. Yeah, he's always happy. <laughs> because we see the sun after many days in this country. <laughs> you see what? The sun after many days oh, in this country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we're just enjoying the good weather. Okay, yeah, cool. Alhamdulillah. So that's the reason, you know, we are Muslims, we yeah. believe in God. You as a Christian obviously believe in God as well. Yeah. Yes, even though the way we describe God would be different. Yeah. So the question that we ask the atheists about the, our existence would be different. You already believe all this was created by God, right? So it'll be a completely different discussion with you. Right. And that's the reason what I'm saying is that uh, why the Muslims, the Christians and the Jews, what is it that one thing that they dispute about? Um, we believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins. Okay, that's actually a good point, yeah. So the one thing that they do dispute about is Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yes? The Jews completely reject him. The Muslims take the middle ground, don't reject him, don't put him to the level of God. And the Christians go to the other extreme, they make him God. Do you all believe there's Jesus Christ? Do you believe? Yeah, we believe in Jesus. Yeah, of course, as Muslims, we do believe. No, he's a Messiah. We believe in Jesus. Yeah. Okay, so do you don't believe he died on the cross for our sins? No. No, so we don't believe he's the son of God. We don't believe that he is God. And we do so not believe in the crucifixion so is, and the resurrection is of Jesus. Is God, um, was he like in human form? No. No, never. So, so if you look at the Bible. So if you believe, okay. So if you believe that God, all this stuff got here from just the spirit. No, no. We believe God created everything. But God is not, was never in human form. He doesn't need to be to create okay, anything. Okay. Does he? No, I mean, he does it. But I'm just saying like, you don't, yeah. believe, like we believe like father, son, Holy Spirit, like three in one. Why do you do that? When none of the prophets in the Bible did that, why would he because do that? Because have you ever heard of faith? Yeah, but faith is based on what? On the Bible or is it just blind faith? Well, it's based on your relationship with God. Yeah, but based on what? What is your source about Jesus? The Bible, right? Yeah, but it, there is not, it's, you can't just, it's not just one thing. You can't no, no, no. look at the Bible. You have to because without, without the Bible, how do you know Jesus? Um, I personally grew up in church. I went to church, my parents. You read a lot of Bible in the church then? Say again? Your your source has always been the Bible. Well, I did. Okay. So listen, so hear me out. Just hear me out. Yeah. So I went to church because my parents grew up at church. So I'm from the South and the state. So had to go to church. You're from I the went, Bible Belt? Yes. Listen okay. to me. Listen, I did not. I went to church every Sunday and every Wednesday. Right. And I didn't ever. I heard it, but I didn't ever get anything out of it until I was probably about 16 years old. Did you start asking questions at that age? Um. No, I had always asked questions but I didn't really care to like have a relationship what what kind of questions that you asked that you didn't get an answer to at your church um, well I didn't I, I don't say I didn't get an answer to them I just say okay. I didn't really care because I was like this is weird. let's see if you ask this question in the church from all the prophets and all the messengers that we see in the Bible and there are quite a lot of in fact more than what, what the Quran states did any of them ever worship a triune God worship or including Jesus worship a triune God a Trinity a God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit well, as God. If you, if you, if Did any of them worship Father, Son, and Holy Spirit as one being God? Um, well, I mean, did who? Did any of the prophets? Anyone. 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 Okay, forget even the prophecy. Did anyone at all worship this Father, Son, and Holy Spirit as one God in the yeah. Bible? Oh. Mm. I mean, it, it's talking about all along, like, the things that Jesus, like, in the New Testament, the things that Jesus did for people... Yeah. And like healed you know, them. prophets have miracles. And no, no, we don't have miracles. We are talking no, about the, saying, the worship itself. I'm not saying. Did they worship a God who is like the way you worship as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit? Did anyone in the entire Bible worship God that way? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, give me one example. Go on. I mean, anyone is free to answer.
answer that question, no problem. So, 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 so the doctrine of the Holy Trinity was re revealed throughout the Bible. So throughout salvation history, the Holy Trinity and the doctrine of the Holy Trinity wasn't revealed at once. So when was it revealed? The Father was revealed from creation. The okay. Son was revealed at the Incarnation. Right. The Holy Spirit was revealed at Pentecost. Okay. And there we have the revelation of the Holy Trinity. Now, you see you have jumped straight to the Holy Trinity. But before that, you need to ask a question. If Jesus, during his time when he was teaching, during his ministry, would you consider him to be the best role model for any human? Uh, I would, as a Muslim. No. At his time. Of course, but role model, how do you define role model? Role model means everyone would follow his example. As an example, as, as an example of spiritual Yeah. So when Jesus was praying to God, whom did he pray to? He prayed to his father. Why only the father? Because you said the son was already revealed by them during the incarnation. So why only the father? Because he is the son. So why didn't he pray to himself? Or why didn't he pray to No, no. Why did he not tell anyone else to pray yeah. to him? Pray to himself. Yeah. Because when he was asked, how shall I pray? Do you remember the Lord's Prayer? The, the Spirit proceeds from the Father and the Son. So our Lord prays to the Father, to, to his Father, the Father, and the Holy Spirit proceeds from the Father and the Son. Yeah, that's so the church teaching yeah, from the 4th century, century, not from Jesus' oh, teaching. What he just said is the uh, Athanasian Creed, which is a Catholic Creed, and what they believe, even the proceeding part, or that's not in the Bible. Well. You know, can you imagine, can you imagine God proceeding from someone else or something else? I, that means he's not independent. The triune God, though, he, he is one God himself, and he's independent of himself. Yeah, I, I hear you, but that is actually the teaching of the church. Yeah, Sorry the to say, was, what I'm asking, my question was, does the Bible, the Bible teach this? Created, the Bible, was the canon of the scriptures, was put together by the Holy Roman Catholic Church. Okay, so to, say it's not in the Bible, church. to say it's not in the Bible, well... The canon wasn't there until the 5th century. The That's 400 exactly, years after. Exactly, so Sorry, 350. 50 years after Jesus. Exactly, so to say it's not in the Bible is ridiculous because the church came before the Bible. Jesus Christ. The church came before the Bible? Of course, he, of okay. course it did. I know what you mean. Of course it did. Yeah. I don't but know just, what you know. It's very clear. I don't know what you know. I know what you mean. It's very clear. The church, the, church, the canon of the scriptures was put together by the Holy Roman Catholic Church. Okay. So in fact, you are agreeing. From, uh, from bro, 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 yeah, exactly. one, one second, one second. Yeah, exactly. So who gives them the right to do that, not just that? They're Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Jesus Christ! But he, before, from long ago, for 400 something years uh, before, before he rose from the dead, he let's, gave let's take it in a chronological yeah. order yeah. rather than yeah. going all the way. Why do different <laughs> churches have different number, numbers of books in their Bible? Which Bible is the correct Bible? The one Who that's in the there from the first one. The, first one the, the, the authority, all authority comes from God. Yeah, would you agree? Um, not in the sense that you're talking about. I mean, yes, okay, well, of course, in, in my sense, but not in the idea that. Um, you may just arbitrarily pick and choose books and put them in the Bible and call it divine. When nobody the author thought of that um, when they were writing, nobody claimed that. And on top of that, none of the books are written by anybody who we know. All the books are anonymous. All the Gospels are anonymous. They're all written way after Jesus' time. None of the books are written by eyewitnesses. All the churches disagree on which books are divine and which books are not. There's just so many. Like, why? So not only is the Trinity not seen in any pro not in any prophetic teaching in the Bible. In fact, she's brother. So not in fact, she's agreeing with us that it was the church yeah. who established the Trinity. Not the, no, it's no, not from the Bible. Say the church established the Trinity. So where is it I in the Bible then? The word Trinity, tri unity, right? Was first. Um, it was. A, it was one of the church fathers. I don't remember which one it was. But. Again, outside the Bible. What are you saying? Everything is outside the Bible. Yeah. Your most important doctrine is outside the Bible. No, no. Do you not see that? We don't no, need a no. Name, no, no, no. So, okay, so show me so a single passage from the entire Bible which advocates a triune God. Go on. Say again. You're refusing to accept the Bible. And that's the problem with the debates you're going to see. That you refuse to understand your knowledge of the blockage there. No, no, before you even give me the evidence, how can I refuse? I'm asking you where in the Bible does it say that? That's all I'm asking. You disagree with the evidence that I presented to you, right? Your evidence was from outside.
outside the Bible. Do you agree? No, so no. Okay, show me something that you okay, brought so, from the Bible. Go on. Okay, so about Genesis a triune God. Right, the creation of the from the Father, right? So this is in Genesis, book of Genesis, right? Incarnation in the book of Saint Luke, right? The Gospel of Saint Luke. Okay, so these are two points in. in, in so you went from Genesis straight to Luke. Well, uh, so these all things are all, are all. Do you agree that the, before Jesus Christ, none of the prophets and majority of the prophets came before Jesus Christ, none of them worshipped a triune God. Do you agree with that statement? They worshipped the God that had been revealed to them. And who is, only who is God, what? And God the Father had been revealed Good. to them. Good. Okay. Now, now Jesus himself, when he was asked, how shall we pray? Yes. He repeated the Lord's Prayer, which is our Father in heaven, not our Father, Son, and Holy Spirit in heaven. Do you agree? So even Jesus Christ and all the prophets, they all advocated the worship of the Father only. Uh, no, not, not, no, 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 no. Okay, where did no, Jesus no, no, say no. to worship anyone other okay, than the Okay, so the, in the book of Acts, we okay. see the event of Pentecost. Yeah? Was Jesus there? Jesus had just ascended to heaven and the Holy Spirit, and he sent the Holy Spirit, the advocate. Okay, so our Lord Jesus Christ revealed the Holy Spirit. He, Our Lord Jesus Christ ascended into heaven and he said, you will not be alone. I will send my advocate who will go before you, the Holy Ghost. And he sent the Holy Ghost after he ascended into heaven. But the Holy Ghost was already there during the baptism. The Holy, the, at the event of Pentecost. So no, no, I'm asking, look, Jesus said, until I go away, he will not come. But the Holy Ghost was already there during the baptism. Well, are you implying then that Jesus Christ was lying? No, I'm saying the Bible writers are lying. You say, you say, so the ones who wrote the Bible are lying because it, it, there's a clear contradiction in the Gospel of John, John 14 and John 16 in both it says, un, Jesus clearly says, until I go, the paraclete, he will not come. Yes, when I go, then he will lead you into all truth. Yeah. So the second question which you need to answer is this. What is the new truth that the Holy Spirit brought to you? Let's assume for the sake of argument that Paraclete is the Holy Spirit. What is the new thing that he, he proclaimed to you which Jesus did not already teach you? So at the baptism of our Anytime. Lord. So no, no, if you, uh, let me address your first point. Is it the Holy Spirit yeah, sure. had, had come? So <laughs> at, at the baptism of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit descended on him like a dove on him. Right, the Holy Spirit descended on him yeah. like it's it was there, right? Right at the baptism. It at existed. On him. It, it of matter. course it existed. And it existed. That's what we're saying. Of course it existed. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's always existed. Right, the Holy Ghost has always existed. Yeah. He descended on our Lord at his baptism in the form of a dove. At Pentecost, he descended on the church. Okay, so the Holy Spirit was. When you say church, you mean the people? Yes, of course. It was Our Lady, Blessed Virgin Mary, and well. I'll give you another example. Did the Holy Spirit? Address my example. Yeah, yeah, I'm addressing address that. My example. No, no. Where's the triune God? I'm, I'm addressing. No, no, you jumped. God. You jumped the gun. Triune. Okay, if, if you're interested in the word triune. I'm not using the term. I'm talking about the concept. Okay, well, the concept is there. If you're not interested in the So before we go to the concept, concept right? it's very clear. The, the Father is revealed in Genesis. The Son is revealed in the Incarnation. The Holy Ghost is revealed in Pentecost. This is all inside the And how do you make them one? If you let me finish. This is all inside the Bible, right? So if you're disagreeing that the concept of the Holy Trinity is outside the Bible, you're in correct. And if you can't accept that, then you can't see the logic. Shall I tell you why you're incorrect? Shall I tell you why? Oh, do you agree with what I've just said? I'm telling you that why you're incorrect. How can I agree? But if I agreed, I wouldn't say you're incorrect. Because you just said the concept of the Holy Trinity. Yeah, the concept is not there. I'll tell you why. Let me have a word in between. I'll tell you why. Trinity doesn't just mean three persons or three beings or three entities. Trinity means the three are one being God. This is the leap of faith which you made. Just because you said the three different entities or the three different persons are mentioned throughout time in different eras, then you automatically said that these three are one. That is a leap of faith which you actually established, which Jesus did not say, which none of the prophets said, which the church did in the fourth century. And that is the reason I'm saying, and that is the reason I'm saying that what you're saying is a leap of faith, not from evidence. It is evidence in the Bible. I think she can answer without your help? I agree. What, what, but I've just said, I've just, and I've just explained how it is evidence in the Bible. What is that evidence? Show me the three in one in the Bible. Okay, so the three, the three, 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 three. So baptize in the name of the name name Father, Son, and the Holy Angel. Holy Angel. No, no, that's only baptism. It doesn't say they are one. It doesn't say they are one even in the baptism. But it, it is. Okay, what is the name of the Holy Spirit? Name singular. What is the name? Yahweh. Yahweh. Where does it say Yahweh is the name of the Holy Spirit? See, this is this is what I mean. It's clueless. When you when you in order for you to believe in God, you need to have solid evidence. You can't
can't just base it on on speculation. This is this isn't speculation. When you said the three are one, that is based on speculation because it's not in the Bible. This is the church in the fourth again, century. Again, again, again. If I can just repeat one more time. Yeah, go on. We need to see the three in one in the Bible. The canon of the scriptures was compiled by the Catholic Church because the Catholic Church is the sole authority of God on earth. So a teaching of the Catholic Church for it to be believable and accepted by all Christians does not need to be in the Bible. That's the reality. So you agree with me then? It's not in the Bible. The, no, I don't agree with you because I've just explained. You just that, said it. That, no, no, I've said the word tr Trinity is not. I didn't ask for the word. The, the, You're doing it again. The, the, that's the, a, that's the, a straw man argument. I never asked for the word Trinity. Well, the concept. I asked you for the concept. Show me the three in one concept in the Bible. Until then, you have nothing in the Bible that shows us that that uh, the three persons are one being. But the concept is in the Bible. Show you're me the not, three in one concept. You're not accepting the three okay. in one concept. Where is where is that in the Bible? You, 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 you said from the whole, from the fathers, the church fathers. You said about the canon. You know the canonization of the Bible. You know when it happened? Uh, I actually have a theology degree, but I, fifth century. Fifth How many years after Jesus that? These things. Four decades. These things. These things. Four decades after. Sorry, not four decades. Four centuries. Four centuries after Jesus. If the if the Holy Father decided to change the canon of the scripture, not he has authority. To Holy Father told you when? When did the Holy Father spoke to the uh, no, no, to the church fathers or anyone? Not, that's not what it is. Well, the Holy Father has always been present in the church. I know. The Holy Father is the only one worthy of worship. You know no, you know who says Holy this? The Holy Father means Pope, by the way. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay. Uh, you're Catholic. I, I forgot. Because I'm used to speaking to the Protestants. <laughs> and for them, there's no such thing as a Pope. They reject the Pope. Do you agree? Okay. I, I, I acknowledge the difference between the Protestants and the Catholic. But when I, when I see the Bible in which Jesus himself states that the only true God is the Father, then regardless of what the Pope says, regardless of what the Church Fathers say, Jesus' testimony stands over all of that. Do you agree? We're not claiming though that there's more than one God. We're claiming that there's No, no, I'm not saying more than one God. I'm saying to identify as the only true God, one person, not three persons, Jesus says in John 17, 3, yes, do, are you aware of the passage? Okay, he says this is eternal life, that they may know you, the Father, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. So Jesus identifies the Father as the only true God and himself as the Christ. Now you cannot say that the Pope rejects Jesus' testimony or the Protestant or any church fathers reject Jesus' testimony. That would be against Jesus, against everything you uphold as holy. Yeah, but it should be recorded by the doctor.